Okay, here is a quick behind the scenes of the four army dropping soldier mod arena. Let's start with the lower trap door. Got a switch. Below that you have red circuit. Now both of these are very simple circuits. Uh, it didn't take me very long to figure this out. Just, there's nothing complex. Um, so we'll just follow the circuits. Uh, it just drops down. Now the reason I drop it down is because I can cover it with dirt and hide the actual circuits. The only reason for the repeaters is to continue the circuit along. So we've got this one. This is the, uh, like I said, it was the lower switch. And as you can see, we have dirt between them so we don't have any cross circuits. Again, a repeater. And it just goes up along the back where I have it kind of hidden. More repeaters. All right, so it comes in here and to get on the other side. Now, as you can see, when it comes in, all it does is just comes over here, hits a block, and then attached to that block has the redstone switch. Above that, directly above that, well, actually, this one connects the, to the one below. Um, we have the switch or the trap door. Now, it's very important that you have this the redstone above because what it's doing is it's triggering downward and it's very important with dropping the clay guys that you only had two blocks because like I said or in previous videos if you had three of them they would actually die so all I did was repeat the same exact pattern for each one of these four switches where the redstone comes in to this block attached to it is a redstone torch and then it's activating below it a trapdoor and as you can see above it I have the same exact thing I have redstone coming into this it's affecting below now I laid it out a little differently below because of I didn't want to you know have them conflict with each other So as you can see, it comes in on the side on this side, and on this one it comes in on the other side. But it's exactly the same setup on both floors. The only difference is there's two blocks between them. Real simple setup. Um, so we'll follow this one. Again, repeaters just to continue the signal. Have it go down below there, and then it goes this way just so there's again no conflicting signals comes up here now the the one thing is with those repeating or the with the torches so close to each other you can only do this in a certain order you have to do the upper trap first and then the lower if you try and trigger the upper while the lower is down they will not work as you can see, they're all still open. But if you do them in the right order, they work every single time. So right now they're all open. So when you load the chambers with the clay soldiers, you always have both of them closed. We'll just confirm real quick that they're both closed. As you can see, they're both closed. I'm going to open the upper trap door first. That drops them down so that they're queued right above the lower trap door. Hit lower trap door. And they drop down. If I can walk in the door. It's kind of a safety measure. I mean, you're not going to load them up. Like if you went up with just the switch activated and that open, as soon as you put them in, they would die. And we'll test that real quick. So say I went to queue them. Well, this uh, that's the only one I have that's... I can make it over there. <coughs> 
the fall would be too far, basically. They would not be able to survive if you drop them. I can't make it over there. If you had just the primary, the, the lower gate activated, you would not be able to have them survive. So suffice to say you need to just, you know, make sure that both of them are in a down position. Then you can load them up. Throw this one first. Then as soon as you throw this one, it drops them down in. And they're battle royale. So I hope this was interesting. I don't know if there's a whole lot of interest in seeing how I created this. But as you can see, it's not very complex. Uh, it took me a few hours to do it. Uh, had fun doing it. And hope you enjoy it.